Hey guys, welcome to 2017 MCAT preparation. We're going to be looking at rearranging questions in this session. So let's get started. Oh, forgot to mention, as usual, if you haven't done any rearranging and you want some help with those types of questions, I will attach a link at the description section. So, you know, you can just have a look at the video and before you actually come and try these things. All right, so for this question, we have a trapezium with area of 40 centimeters squared. And what is given is we've been given the formula that 40 is equal to h over 2 multiplied by a plus b. And what they're asking is uh, write the equation of, for a in terms of b and h. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of things. I mean, because things are this in this equation, 40 equals that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down h over 2 multiplied by a plus b equals to 40. Now folks, there is so many different ways in which you can actually approach this question and actually get to the answer. I'm going to show you guys just maybe two ways, but believe me, there's more than more than two ways. And I think I'll be here for a long time if I'm going to show you every possible method. In fact, I don't think I know every possible method. I'm sure someone else has a different method too. All right, so let's have a look at what's happening here. So the first thing is this, you've got h, um, over 2. So uh, obviously I want to have a by itself, which means the first thing I need to get rid of is um, the 2 itself, um, or the h over 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. Oops, sorry. Just once. So mu multiply that side by 2 and multiply this side by 2. And what's going to happen is that my two 2's are going to disappear and I've got h equals to a plus b equals 80. Now I need to get rid of the h, so I have to divide both sides by h, and what ends up happening is the h's cancel out, and I have a plus b equals 80 over h. And obviously I need to get rid of the b, so subtracting b from both sides, and what I end up with is a is equal to 80 over h minus b. So that's one way of looking at solving this problem. I'm going to show you guys another method. So in this one, I've got h over 2, a plus b equals 40. Um, the other method you could have done is you could have actually expanded the brackets. So you could have actually went h over 2 times a, then h over 2 times b. So what you'll end up with is a h over 2 plus bh over 2 equals 40. Um, and then subtracting bh over 2 from both sides. So subtracting bh over 2 and bh over 2. What you end up with getting is ah over 2 equals 40 minus bh over 2. And the next step is I want to get rid of h over 2 on this side, so a is by itself. So I could actually do, I can multiply this on the left hand side by 2 over h and do the same thing on the right hand side of the equation. But just remember it's 40 minus bh over 2, the whole thing multiplied by 2 over h. So you might wonder why I did multiply by 2 over h because check this out, h and h cancels. 2 and 2 cancels, and I'm left over with a on this side. And then here, I've got 2 over h multiplied by 40 minus bh over 2. Now, you might be wondering why these two answers are not the same. Well, they are. I mean, if you think about it, if you simplify this, so 2 times 40 uh, will become 80 over h minus uh, 2 over h times b times h over 2. So the h and h will cancel, 2 and 2 will cancel, and all you have left over with is minus b. And there you go, that's another way. Um, obviously this is not a pretty way, but um, you know, it's just there's more than one way for this question, these types of questions, guys. All right, let's have a look at the next question. So in this question, we are saying that if a equals 2 pi times h plus r, write the equation for h in terms of a, r, and pi. So. Um, as usual, I'm going to uh, write what I want. So obviously, I'm trying to figure out h. So I'm going to write that on the right hand, uh, left hand side. So I've got 2 pi 
h plus r equals a. So the first thing I want to be doing is getting rid of the 2 pi. So I'll divide both sides by 2 pi. And what should happen is I actually have h plus r equals a over 2 pi. And then the next step is getting rid of the r. So I've got minus r here and minus r on this side on the right hand side. And I have h that's left over on the left hand side. And on the right hand side I have a over 2 pi minus r. Okay, one thing that I have noticed people do in terms of mistakes is sometimes they do this. So when they see a equals to 2 pi times h plus r, what they do is they subtract the r first on both sides and write this as a minus r equals 2 pi times h. Now this is actually incorrect folks. Um, the reason it's incorrect is because primarily it's because of those brackets that's actually around h plus r. Because you can't just subtract r from both sides because if you really think about it, on the right hand side you actually have 2 pi r. So you really should be subtracting 2 pi r. Um, but yeah, I mean that's why we kind of stick to this method here, getting rid of everything outside the bracket first and then rearranging to whatever we want. Alright guys, that's basically it for this session. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. Um, and that's it. Yeah, Thank you for watching.